Hello, this is Hope from Triumph Hope Production with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually make Lego characters in Blender fairly easily using this blend file, which is called the Lego Generator. And it's pretty cool. I've looked through it, and I've uh, you know been playing around with it. And it's it's actually really really nice. I'm going to leave a link for the download in the, the description below this video, so you can download it yourselves and look through it. And it's really customizable, and it's only for Blender 3.1 and above. And like I said, it's a, it's a .blend file. So when you go to the site, which is this, uh, once again, you can put in any amount. It's free to be able to put in any amount you want in order to help the developer develop more uh, blend files. And once you've done that, it'll give you two files. One zip file, and the other one uh, would be a dot blend file, then a PNG file. Now the PNG file has all the faces in it, but the zip file contains the blend file and the PNG file for the faces. So once you've got the zip file, you extract it using WinWare or 7-zip um, or any um, software you can use or acquire to unzip the file and it'll have both of those um, files blend file and the PNG file in the same folder I think it's done like that because here it's already been appended and this one that that I would use the one that's in the zip file and once you've done that you've downloaded it onto your system open up Blender 3.1 go to file and open and just navigate to where you've, you've saved it. What, I, what you can do is open up the folder on your system where you've saved your file, pressing the uh, address bar, then go to copy, left or right click, and copy, and then Blender, click on the, uh, the option up here, press Control V, enter, and it'll take you to where that folder is on your system. Left click on that and open, and here it is. Like I said, it's really nice. It's really simple and straightforward. But let's close this window by hovering our mouse over here. Left click, join areas, or right click, sorry, and join areas and left click to join those areas. And it works in cycles, for what I can see, and also in Eevee. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to just view it in Eevee so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to change my viewport shading there. And you'll see that we have a Lego figure. And all your options are under your modifiers. So let's kind of increase our view here. And you have just, it's just a simple, straightforward setup uh, for Lego character generator. For this, you have your hairstyle. So let's look at what kind of hairstyles we can acquire uh, through these options. So left click on the arrow. You see the hairstyle just change. And it looks like Lego characters, the same kind of body shape. So if you're into creating Lego movies, things like that, I don't think there's any copyright infringement when it comes to creating Lego characters. So this would be the option for you. It can change the hairstyle, get different hats on it. Uh, the face type, and this is where I feel that the uh, PNG face that I showed you earlier in the video comes in handy when it's in the same folder. And you can just click on whatever type of face you want the face changes and that's pretty nice you can change the face color also by going up and down in this parameter here and this section controls the poses for your right arm left arm uh, right hand left hand Let's see how this works just move this up and down you can see the arm is moving as we change the parameter uh, number or parameter size on the right arm and same thing with the right hand. You can see the hand pivoting, turning. Left arm is the same thing. So I say it's, it's user friendly. It's really, really nice, really straightforward. And like I said before in previous videos, when you see these dots beside the parameters, that means you can animate, uh, animate the dots. You just left click, and it turns to a diamond. When it's yellow like this, it means it's been anima animated on the timeline. Let me see if I can pull up the timeline. There it is. It's right there. Let's turn that off. So if you want to animate the characters, you can do that. Let's go to the left hand, see that pivoting also. The head pivots and turns. Uh, upper body, the same thing. 
that part of the, the waist it pivots on the at the waist there also same thing with the lower body left leg let's let's uh, kind of zoom out and pan up so we can see the leg movements left leg moves and the right leg moves also and for animation the walks the walk cycle also animate that <coughs> excuse me just click and then it automatically walks so that's also nice and you can control the walk speed move it forward also you can do that you can change the color also of the body in the upper part of it you don't have the option to change the color of the face but you can also change the color of the whole body in these parameters here the color of the hair let's turn let's change it back from a hat to hair and see what kind of hair uh, colors we can get let's go back to that one it says hair color so let's turn let's see what that does okay that's 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 pretty nice it does it does a really good job when it comes to just the simplicity of it and effectiveness of it the color of the torso we can change the color of the torso which is the chest area chest and stomach <coughs> excuse me color of the arms can change those two at the same time that's nice change the hand color also uh, pelvic color change all that you see the leg colors we can change those two at the same time and the shoe color see this is the uh, Lego generator which is really nice straightforward you can make multiple I think you can make multiple characters from this hopefully you can but let's test it and see let me see let me left click on this I don't even know if we can do that let me press shift D to duplicate this and pull him over can I pull him over Oh, okay. Oh, that's the floor. Let me see if we can in, can change the characters individually without affecting the other. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so you can make multiple characters. Oh, that that is an extra bonus. Cause you wouldn't want to have a situation where you just download this blend file and you can just only generate like one character and just you know have to do a green screen situation to to, to generate multiple characters. You can actually generate multiple characters in the scene itself and have the parameters of one not affect the uh, look of the other. So that's that's great. So yeah, this is the uh, Blender uh, Lego Generator dot blend file. And like I said before, it's simple, straightforward, and it's really nice. And I hope this video was helpful for those who are watching. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. Those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.